so happy to know that you are still learning with me okay in this video I want to talk about to and enough because some students are still confused about how to write it how to use it in sentences whether it is proper enough for the meaning or not or how to make a good sentence with to and enough what i mean is the structure whether the structure is correct or not okay let's see about that first we will uh we, we will talk about two two with different meanings today there are some meanings for the word two the first is very completely as at work the resort is too far from the airport. I don't think that tourists are interested in staying there. Too far. The distance between the resort and the airport is far away. So too far. Quiet far. The director didn't look too happy to your decision to resign. No one works as well as you did didn't look too heavy not too or quiet happy or the director felt disappointed with your decision so the position here is to and then adjective to and then adjective okay the next also the meaning is also my parents would like to attend the ceremony and I'd like to we love meeting your family. We have this M and then I and then predicate and then two. Two means also. It means that my parents, both my parents and I would like to attend the ceremony. If you want to know more about the, uh, this kind of construction and subject work and two, you can open my or watch my uh, video about coordinator conjunctions. Okay, the next is please uh, decorate the living room and the dining room too. I like my guests to feel comfortable during the dinner. So, it is not only the living room that should be decorated but also the dining room and the dining room too too means also okay continue the next meaning is more than needed more than needed the stage is too glamorous for a simple way um sorry the stage is too glamorous for a simple play it's a waste of money there are some decorative things that uh, should be removed because it is only a simple way we don't need those things this looks too bloody for a small injury can you make it seem to be more natural yeah it is like in the uh, movie shooting that we want to show a small injury but it is too much or there is too much blood from uh, coming out from that small injury so it doesn't uh, it doesn't seem natural enough that's why this looks too bloody too much blood okay the next is the construction different construction from what we uh, from the previous sentences in the previous sentences you just have two and then adjective but now we have two adjective with two infinitive the boys are too frightened to go out from their hiding place the monstrous man is still standing near where they are hiding so look at the construction too frightened two adjective and then two infinitive to go out so the frights the feeling of fear is quiet high 
Two things are too shiny to see with the naked eyes. Yet better wear the black sunglasses. Two things are too shiny, too shiny, too adjective, too see, too infinitive. It seems that the structure is the same. Yes, the structure is the same, but the meaning is different. In the first sentence, it is active, and the second sentence, it is passive. The boys. The boys is the subject for to infinitive, to go out. The boys go out. But in the second sentence, the subject is actually the object of to infinitive, to see two things, to shiny, to see two things. But we don't need to change it into passive form like to be seen. Okay, the next is um, to adjective for plus for noun or pronoun. So the difference from the previous structure is we put noun or pronoun. That's why the subject of to infinitive is the noun or this pronoun. Let's see the example. This botanical garden looks too vast for us to explore for only a few hours. We need a day to observe all of the plants. So who explores is us here. Too vast for us to explore. The twins are too alive for me to differentiate. To differentiate the twins. I differentiate, so the noun is the subject of to infinity. Okay, the meaning still the same with the previous sentence, only the structure and plus noun. We put noun that makes this structure different from the previous. Okay, the next is with to infinity, but we use adverb noun. In uh, to with adjective, we have to and then adjective. And the predicate is to be or linking verb. But because we have adverb here, we need verb. Because adverb explains the verb. That person talked to the waiter too rudely. To simply ask for a drink. He was not supposed to use the dirty word. So, this is the word talk. And then, to rudely, to ask for a drink. But the position still the same. After, uh, sorry, uh, the position of to is before adverb. The same as adjective before adjective. The position of two is before adjective and before adverb. Um, the next, the students of prestigious school were helping the peasants friend Peggy in the muddy field to gleefully to feel the heat of the sunlight. That was the best experience for them. So this is the verb helping and then to gleefully to feel. Yeah, perhaps um, you know that the students uh, from prestigious schools were uh, uh, usually comes from commonly comes from the rich family, whose house or whose place. Um, what I mean is, they are used to having or living in a very uh, clean place and cool because of air conditioner. So, when they had to come to the muddy field, they were um, very excited because this is the first experience for them to be in the muddy field, in a dirty field, but helping peasants to plant paddy. Uh, so, they ignore the heat of the sunlight. So to gleefully to feel the heat of the sunlight, they ignore the heat of the sunlight because they were too excited. Okay, the next is um, 
we learn about enough now the meaning is as much as necessary as much as necessary so we <coughs> at, uh, we have adverb with adjective now everyone has become adaptable enough to the fast changing life due to this pandemic they don't complain anymore but use their creativity to survive instead has become adaptable enough it means that they can adapt to the changing life uh, see the position here that the position of enough what i mean is after the adjective remember that the position of two is before the adjective but enough is after the adjective be careful with that this information is accurate enough for us to use for the additional report to the boss so he can get the real description of what happened this information is accurate enough for us to use so um, the position is still the same after the adjective but the structure of the sentence is slightly different we use here to infinitive this is not to this is not to infinitive this is because this is not verb but this is to infinitive we can use this construction i mean uh, the in, to infinitive construction with enough the same as what uh, we have known from the previous sentences adjective to adjective and to infinitive so we have now adjective and then enough to infinitive okay the next is with adverb the leader announced the financial condition of the company clearly enough to make his employees feel insecure to continue working there however he promised not to fire them so the position is here still the same as with adjective so it is after the adverb clearly enough this is the verb announced clearly enough the same as this the employees gave it back on their boss decision responsively enough that the boss felt touched and decided to give the best for them so the position is the same responsively enough after the adverb but actually the construction of the sentences after enough is different we have here two infinitive to make these employees and in the second examples you have that clause enough that the boss will touch okay you can have uh, this one or this one it doesn't matter you can uh, make your sentences more uh, variation in order that it will not be boring okay the next is with noun as determiner with noun because we have this with noun it means that we want to explain the noun how much that's why it is as determiner the wells in this village provide enough water for the people during the dry season because they keep the trees well while the neighboring villages always lack of water as their trees were cut down for industrial activities enough water the amount of water is sufficient they don't lack of water the position be careful the position again i want to emphasize the position of enough is before the noun because it is as determiner since people have enough lessons to understand the importance of trees for their life they begin to plant more trees and take care of their environment well enough lessons they have enough lessons the lessons the experiences are sufficient enough to make them understand about the importance of trees compared to the sentence the millennial generation changes the conventional way of working there are even enough of them who are able to employ the older we use enough of if you want to have pronoun or you can have noun but with the possessive 
pronoun like there enough of the work enough of his work or you can have uh, other determiner like um, this or this status or the article there enough of the students enough of uh, these for example these um, books so if you have again I repeat pronoun and then you have the noun with other determiners like the these or possessive pronoun you use enough of okay so now it is as pronoun it means that it stands alone I think that this library doesn't provide books that we need for our research oh I don't think so I can find enough so enough refers to the books Huxley spread to social media uncontrollably enough are found to threaten the harmony that has been built for years enough also reverse to hoxis um because it is as pronoun you see uh, i hope that you still remember the function i mean the position of noun in a sentence so this is the same as the position of noun in a sentence as subject and and, and as object that's why in this sentence i can find enough this is as object and in this sentence it is as subject enough are found i can't find enough because it is a subject and it refers to hoxies it means that this is countable noun enough means more than one that's why we put plural verb here okay we go on the next is as adverb of degree i often get confused when smart students ask about something that i don't master well I don't prepare enough for such question. I don't have any preparation. I don't have enough preparation. The meaning is the, uh, is the same right there. Enough is the adverb of degree for this verb. You can have find other uh, adverb of degree like uh, completely or barely. Yeah, the same thing. I always motivate my students to think critically on hoxis. They have understood enough on the harm of hoxis to society's life. Uh, they have enough understanding about it. Enough understanding. So enough here explain the verb understood. The position is here. If you want to change this with completely or quiet, you can have. Uh, they have quiet understood about that like that but because you use the word enough put it here have understood enough prepare enough put it after the verb okay I think um, I have explained about to and enough with uh, the various meaning also um, the various construction in a sentence hopefully that you can use them in a good sentence in order that your sentence become more meaningful thank you for running with me and thank you for watching see you later goodbye